Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to my program. So I'm actually uploading my English grammar uh, book, uh, which is book two. And um, this book is uh, was actually published by me, written by me in the year 2021, this one, 2020, this one. So I'm actually uploading this. For this, you can already see it. I've uploaded every single question and page. So now is the uh, second book. I'm uploading again. Uh, I have come to uh, lesson 31. I'm um, sorry, lesson 14, page 31. So this book has a total of 133 pages, all exercise. And uh, there are 40 chapters in this book, 40 lessons. We are now at lesson 14. That means to say we have another 26 lessons to go. And page 31, therefore, because it is 133 pages, so we have another 101 page, pages to go. Okay? So actually, the video before this, before now, I was also teaching conjunctions, part 1. Because uh, you can see, space is limited. The exercises are many. There are four exercises altogether. So I actually, the last, uh, before this video, I uploaded video part one for conjunctions, page 30, two exercises. And now I'm uploading part two, the same uh, lesson and uh, but then we are doing exercise 3 and exercise 4. Again, you can see that uh, you know space is limited. So I do whatever I can. Alright? So if you look at um, exercise 3, we are supposed to join two sentences together. It's the same as exercise 4. The only thing is that the conjunctions used are different. So by the way, my name is Dr. Lee. And uh, I come from... Bukit Matajam, which is the northern part of Peninsula Malaysia. And right now, I'm staying in uh, Kluang. Kluang is in Johor, the southern part of uh, Peninsula Malaysia, for now. Okay, so let us go to our exercise, exercise 3. Nina took a novel, she started to read it. Two sentences, now we are going to join the two sentences together with a conjunction and the conjunction that we are supposed to use are and and but or but so when you combine two sentences together when you join two sentences together Nina took a novel and started to read it so it is not necessary to repeat she because it is one sentence and one subject but you may ask me or you may wonder what if I say Nina took a novel and she started to read it. What if I say that? Is it correct? Yes, you can do it as well. The only thing is that because it is only one sentence now, therefore one sentence within one subject is enough. But then if you want to use and she started to read it, I cannot say you are wrong. You still can do it. Okay? Honey is clever. He does not like to study. One good, one bad, positive, negative. Therefore, you use but. Honey is clever, but does not like to study. Again, you may say, can I say but he does not like to study? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. My brother closed the door. He went out. So, one action after the other. So, we use and. Han My brother closed the door and went out. Ramla likes to eat cakes, she does not like to eat biscuits. So there is an opposite. One she likes, one the, the other she doesn't. Therefore we use but. Ramla likes to eat cakes, but does not like to eat biscuits. Roslan carried his bag, he went to his tuition centre. So one step after the other, we use and. Roslan carried his bag and went to the tuition center. Again, you can say. Again, I tell you, if you say Roslan carried his bag and he went to his tuition center, it is okay. It is not wrong. The only thing I repeat is 
that you have now got one sentence, so you only need one subject, Roslan. You need not bring in another subject. That's what I want to say. But if you write, he went to his tuition center, it's okay. It's okay. Now, if you look at number six, but, but, and, six, seven, eight, no space. So if you have this book, you can turn to page 31. But if you don't have this book, it's fine. You just listen because I'm going to read. I'm going to read out the question and uh, discuss the answer with you. So if you have this book, you can actually um, turn to page 31. And number five, we have done over here. Number six, Mr. Lee was sick. He did not go to see a doctor logically. If you are sick, you see a doctor. But then he sick. He does not see a doctor, therefore it is but. Supposed to do, he did not do. So Mr. Lee was sick, but did not go to see a doctor. Again, if you say, but he did not go to see a doctor, it's okay. Can, can. Ken Ben can play the guitar, he cannot play the violin. So one can, one cannot. What do you do? When you join two sentences together, you use but. So Ken Ping can play the guitar, but cannot play the violin. Of course, if you want to say, but he cannot play the violin, it's okay. All right? The monitor carries the books, he puts them on the teacher's table. So one, one um, activity after the other, we use and. So the monitor carries the books and puts them on the teacher's table. And he puts them on the teacher's table is fine, is okay. Now exercise four, you can see over here, exercise four, there are three um, choices, all because so. So you know that all is used in two situations. One is choosing, you want this or you want that. The other one, all means to say, if you don't do it, this will happen. That type of or a condition, okay? The, ah, here. The maid must sweep the floor, it is so dirty. So there's a reason why the maid must sweep the floor. Therefore, because it is a reason, we use because. The maid must sweep the floor because it is so dirty. We cannot say because it's so dirty. Because after this word because, we need a complete sentence. You need a subject. Because it, because he, because I, because you, because the girl. You need another subject. Alright? Number two, do you want to buy the mangosteens? Do you want to buy the langsa? It's repeated as you can see. Do you want to? Do you want to? So you can throw away. Do you want to? Second part. So the answer would be, do you want to buy the mangosteens or the langsa? For here, you should, you you know, it is for sure we don't say, do you want to buy the mango sticks or do you want to buy the langsat? For sure we don't do that. Okay? And from number three to number nine, you have to listen. There is no space. Okay? So number three, we must lock the gate. Our puppy will run out of the house. It's a condition. If you don't do this, this will happen. If you do this, this will happen. So you use all. Alright, we must lock the gate or our puppy will run out of the house. My brother is going to see a dentist. He has a bad toothache. So, reason. When it is a reason, we use because. So, my brother is going to see a dentist because he has a bad toothache. Is Sarah's your sister? Is Sarah's your cousin? Repeated, is Sarah's your? So you throw away. Is Sarah's your sister or your cousin? You don't say, is Sarah's your sister or is Sarah's your cousin? You don't say that. This is for sure. Okay? My grandmother is tired. She goes to sleep early. So there's an effect here. Okay? So my, when you use effect, you use so. My grandmother is tired, so she goes to sleep early. It's an effect of what is happening in front. She's tired, okay? 
The students must do their work quietly. Their teacher will be angry. So there's a condition. They must be quiet or else the teacher will be angry. Something will happen. Another effect will take place. Therefore, the answer is O. The students must do their work quietly or their teacher will be angry. Nas Nasri did not bring his pen. I lend him mine. So again, there's an effect here. Nasri did not bring his pen. And the effect is, I lend him mine. So when you talk about effect or a result or the consequence, we use so. Nasri did not bring his pen, so I lend him mine. See, so there's an effect, it's a result, it is a consequence. Lastly, my nephew drank a lot of water. He was very thirsty. So this one again explains to us why my nephew drank a lot of water. The reason is he was very thirsty. When you join these two sentences together, we use because. Because we're talking about reason. My nephew drank a lot of water because he was very thirsty. So the reason is given. Therefore, we should use because. Alright? Now, so um, this lesson, lesson 14 ends. I have finished every question in lesson 14. Here you can see there are 8 and 9, 17. And before that, exercise 1 and 2. Oh, around 30 to 40 questions covered. So our next lesson will be lesson 15, which is prepositions. In, on, under, over, for, from, by. That type of exercise. Okay. Now if you want to buy my books, Book 1 and 2 or 1, book 1 or book 2, conjunctions, okay? You can uh, WhatsApp to me, okay? If you want to learn how to speak, now I'm using English now, so probably you know how to speak English. But then it will be worth watching my TikTok because uh, I teach you how to answer, answer the correct way, either in business business English or, you know, outside uh, your office, how you will talk to others. So you can watch my TikTok, either one of these accounts. I have Instagram as well, but I forgot to write down the uh, Instagram address. So the next video, I will write down my Instagram here, so you can watch either one. For this one, is uh, English courses, online courses, uh, speaking or reading or writing, you know, you can participate, you can join. If you are interested, same, you just WhatsApp to me and register. Okay, so that's all for this lesson. I will see you again in the next video, lesson um, 15, the next one. Okay, so goodbye.